Now we're down here going over a Dust 2 Astralis T Pistol Strat versus Crazy in the 2019 Star Ladder Berlin Major. This strat caught my attention due to the utility usage and map control Astralis gets on a pistol round. Astralis first is going to get CT mid control, then Shore A, and then proceeds with their B hit with their B door smoke thrown from Glade from Catwalk and a B tunnel lurk smoke that has a one way for matches. So Glaive and Ziphnex are holding for mid aggression that you saw in the beginning of the round and they're holding any mid and long A push. Glaive's gonna pop flash device and debris out to get CT mid control. Once they do that, they're gonna jump up cat. Glaive's gonna throw a decoy and they're gonna get cat control. While all this is happening, Magis is in B tunnel waiting for a push. Once they have cat control, they're going to group up B tunnels besides Glaive. So the four group up B tunnels and Glaive's going to throw a smoke from Catwalk to B doors while Magix is going to throw a Lurk smoke from B tunnels. Here's the B door smoke. Here's the Lurk smoke. And then the four T's are going to go through. So there's that one way. And the three CTs are going to swing left while Magis jumps on the box. T's get full control, lose no casualty. And then while this was happening, Glaive was watching Big Flank. Three CTs are alive, two armor, smoking a flash on Nexa, and they decide to save. So that's the end of the round. I'm not going to show you the rest because the CTs are going to save here. Glaive has two flashes, a smoke, and a decoy. He's going to be spotting mid here to see if there's any CT aggression. Picks up the bomb. Goes with Zipnix to mid here. Waits for his teammates to go lower. As his teammates are lower, he's going to jump spot mid. See if anyone's picking it. He's going to throw the flash. Out for his teammates to go out mid. They get a little bit of mid control. He's going to peek cat here. And he's going to wait for his teammates that went out mid to come up cat. He's going to fake a decoy here as a flash and they're going to take cat control. So once they have cat control, they're going to, he's going to throw the bomb to them. And his teammates are going to group up for the B hit. He's going to jump spot here to make sure there's no re-aggression by CTs. Lines up for the B door smokes. He's going to smoke B doors. He's going to fake a flash to A. Goes out door. Tricks window. And then clears CT. Spots one. Falls back. And he's going to be watching the flank here. Go back up for tons. Watch the big flank. Spots one. Goes back lower. CTs here are calling a save. I'm not going to show the rest of the round here. So device by his armor, he's going to go in the beginning round, upper B tunnels, goes into lower with Dupree, clears out Cat, waits for Glaive to pop flash mid and him and Dupree are going to get mid control. A little bit of my control here. There we go, there's a flash, clearing out a little bit of CT. Once they do that, they're gonna jump on Xbox. Glaive's gonna fake flash with the decoy. They're gonna get cat control. And then him, Dupree are gonna group up upper tons for the B hit. Vice is going to be the one entering here. He's going to swing left once that smoke comes out. There's smoke. There's a follow up flash. Vice swings left. Clearing back plat. Big box and then checks window and then they hear one behind that smoke. CTs are going to save here so I'm going to stop. Dupree 
Fi's armor, he's gonna be following device into lower here from tunnels. You're gonna both clear cat when they go lower. Usually there's CT aggression possibly up here and puts still around. And then him and device gonna wait for the pop flash mid, get mid control, go back to Xbox and get cat control. There's a pop flash mid. He's watching left side when device peaks CT. They're both gonna get on Xbox. Glaive's gonna throw a decoy as a fake flash and they're gonna peek with it. They have full cat control, device. Pre gonna go back two tons here. He's gonna get bombed from Glaive. Both walking, make sure they're making no noise. Magic is lining up for the lurk smoke. He's gonna be second one in. Actually, third line. Wait, he's gonna be swinging left with device. They have the bomb site, and CTs are planning the save here. Free plant safe. Mattress has a P250 smoke and flash. He's gonna be watching upper B tunnels. So when they execute on B here, he's gonna be the one, he's gonna be the only single player that swings right. He'll be jumping on top of the box. The rest of the three will swing left of the smoke. So he's just, you see he's jiggling and then he's holding this left angle here to see if there's any CTs that push. So he's lining up for the Lurk Smoke. Throws Lurk Smoke and then he's gonna pop flash behind them, underhand throw. Then he's gonna come out, jump to the right of the box here. He's able, to, it's a one-way smoke, he catches Letney in sight, jumps over, spots Hunter, Zipnix gets the kill. CTs are gonna save. That's the end of the round. Zipnix in the beginning of the round, he buys armor and he's gonna help Watch mid aggression with device here. Or right, sorry, not device glaive. He's gonna come to palm tree. By palm tree, watches for the mid aggression. And he's probably gonna watch long A here. There's a flash from Glaive for the, the T's to go out mid. Liftnix is still holding long, waiting for any push. There's a decoy at right, short. If you look in the radar, they're clearing out cat. Okay, they have cat control. He starts to fall back after they get cat control and they go lower. So he's going to run back and group up with them tunnels. So the next is going to be the last one in here. There's the pop flash behind them. If Nick's waits in the back. pre frying through the door. And clearing out the back here. Gets Hunter. CTs are forced to save. 